Fair Vertex Painter is a tool for manipulating color data on meshes in Unity. Uh, so once you have your package imported into your project, you can go to Window Fair Vertex Painter to open up the painting window. I recommend docking this to the side of your scene window so that it doesn't get lost. Uh, once here, you can see uh, we've got a, a lot of options to go through. Uh, first one, disabling and enabling. Um, this can also be used through P on your keyboard for painting. Um, so if you want to do regular modifications while this is still up, you just turn off Vertex Painter by hitting the P key and you can behave as normal. Uh, so with it enabled, you have uh, then brush settings. And these should be relatively familiar if you've used painting applications before. You have size of your brush, the strength of your painting, and the hardness of the edges. So you can drag these uh, using the sliders, but I recommend using shortcuts instead. If you have a, a mouse wheel, you can hold down control and mouse wheel up and down to change the size of your brush. You can hold down shift to change the strength of your brush, and you can see the dashes changing on the, the brush indicator. You can also hold down uh, control and shift to change the hardness of your brush. If you don't have a scroll wheel or you prefer using the keyboard, there are shortcuts for these as well. If you use the square brackets, this will make your brush larger and smaller. Uh, if you use the semicolon and apostrophe, this makes your brush uh, stronger or weaker. And if you use the arrow brackets on your keyboard, this will make the, the hardness larger or smaller. Okay, uh, so you can also see down here, we've got a color picker. So this allows us to change the color of what we're painting with. Uh, you've got the default Unity color picker, which behaves exactly as you should expect. Um, you can also hold down C, and this will give you access to the vertex color of the mesh and let you pick from there. Uh, that way, if you have colors that don't line up with what exists in your scene, then uh, you're uh, referencing the exact color data. Um, you can see I've also got really quick uh, hue saturation value sliders uh, for those of you who prefer working with those uh, right from the menu. Uh, and I also have some shortcuts for the colors as well. If you hold down uh, one, two, three, or four on your keyboard, this selects the primary color channel. So one for red, two for green, three for blue. Um, and you can see here, these also correspond to textures uh, on this particular blend material. Um, so you can paint the green, ch uh, the red channel, and that will line up with the red channel textures on your uh, material. Or if you paint with the green channel, that will line up with whatever is listed as the texture for your green channel. You can also use the flood fill tool to flood the entire object with a color and that's very, very handy for just switching to and from. You also have here the um, backface toggle. So if you want to, you, you can see here that the backfaces now show up as verts as well, and you can modify those. By default, this is off since usually you only want to modify the things that are visible. And if you've forgotten any of these controls, you can also go to the help button down here, which will list all of the shortcuts as well as give you some links to the documentation online. Um, you can also hover over these and they have tool tips as well. So this has been a, a quick introduction to the UI for Fair Vertex Painter.